Traditionally, artists have relied on somebody else to market their work. In Tampa, many artists are selling art and cultivating patrons on their own. You don't even have to walk into a gallery and experience art. You can just drive around Tampa. Artista Lulu is a full-time artist in the Tampa underground art scene with a growing retail art business. To become a successful artist, business, it's an inevitability. There's pop-ups, meeting people face-to-face. -face. I have a website I sell through my online store as well as through social media. I just decided, I said, I'm gonna make it happen no matter what, and I did. Beautiful, beautiful. Tampa Bay's independent art scene has existed for decades and is growing. Pop-up art events can be found in venues and shops across the Bay, some happening weekly. Old Dirty Sundays has been happening for 11 years, every single Sunday night. Visual arts, musical arts, you have clothing designers that come here. It's old school hip hop. I'm so grateful that we're in a day and age where anyone can make it if they can effectively market themselves. And it's just getting over that little bit of a hurdle, but that's where the value is. <laughs> Lulu believes it's possible to grow as an artist in Tampa. And for many artists like her, the area's culture clubs, independent galleries, and art fairs are fertile ground. Tampa has always had this really robust underground art mm -hmm. scene that has then led to more national exposure. All of these entities are growing and thriving and everybody's partnering together to help them build their careers. That's what we want, that's how we want to grow Tampa. Tampa is steadily growing with the amount of art and the versatility of art that is coming out for an artist. It, it's gold. I mean, don't tell everybody, but it's gold. <laughs> Emerging artists like Lulu, who have entrepreneurial gumption, are changing the way art is experienced in Tampa. Don't give up. <laughs>